Hi, I'm Joanna from Joanna Grace Yoga, and today I want to talk about stress, the immune system, and its effects on cancer. If you haven't noticed, you probably know someone that has cancer. Uh, you might have cancer, a loved one, right? You're kind of noticing a lot more people, maybe a little bit more younger, are starting to have cancer, and you know, I'm, I'm seeing that. Um, so in addition to being a yoga and meditation teacher, I also work in the lab. I dissect the human body, organs and tissues, and I'm looking for cancer disease and all those kind of things. So I see it all day, right? This is my job. I've been in the labs for like 15 years and it's just becoming, it feels like a factory. I actually starting to feel like a cancer factory. Like I am just, it's just, it's unbelievable the amount of, you know, cancer uh, nowadays. So this really kind of struck a chord with me and made me want to talk about, you know, why, why are we getting cancer, right? We're, we have more money going into healthcare, healthcare. Um, than ever, right? We are, you know, in the United States, supposed to have like the best medical care. You know, that's to be argued about. Um, but w what's going on, right? What's going on in the body? And I will tell you, it's stress, right? It's stress. Stress is really pushing people to the limits, right? Their body to the limits, their immune system to the limits, right? So there we are, immune system. Our immune system has a job. So every day, without even your awareness, it is clearing and cleaning out mutated cells. These mutated cells, if they're not cleaned out, can also just kind of turn into, um, can grow out of control and turn into cancer, right? And that is what it is. It's a mutated cell that grew out of control and now kind of just invading your body, right? So that means we need a functioning, healthy immune system to fight cancer just naturally, right? We don't have to do anything about it. But what happens when your body is under constant stress? And stress is not only limited to smoking, the obvious drinking, the obvious um, junk food, fast foods, obviously cause cancer. Let's, you know, let's be real. Um, so all of these toxic fake things in the world that we are eating, inhaling, ingesting are causing our immune system to have to fight harder, okay? Also, stress, as in anxiety, depression, um, just stress about life. Like, I just, you know, you're going to just blow. Um, we're going, going, going. We're busier than ever. We have more things on our plate. Um, we are dealing with traumas. We are dealing with broken hearts. All these things that happen and we're not processing. Where do you think they go? They go right into the, into the nervous system and in into the body. And they kind of get stuck there, these patterns and like this these traumas, anxiety, stresses, depressions, all these things the human goes through, okay? And then when we stress and worry, right, our immune system levels can drop, right? We've all had, um, or at least heard say, oh, I got sick, I was so stressed out, like you're gonna stress yourself out, you're gonna get sick. You know, there's, there's a reason for that. Our immune system does not function properly when we are in fear, stress, and we have high stress hormones in the body, okay? So, so important is in addition to having a, we'll just call it a healthy lifestyle, which is like, oh, I work out, I eat right, I eat fruits, vegetables, blah, blah, blah. It's, that is wonderful, but we also have to have a healthy mind. So you can go to the gym, you can eat all your lettuce and your avocados all day, but if you're not dealing with the stuff on an emotional level in your body, you know what I mean? You're setting yourself up for disease. And that's not always just cancer. I mean, it's just kind of the topic for today. But heart disease, chronic, chronic everything, right? Think about the digestive system. What happens, like for me, that's my trouble area. So when I'm stressed out or sad or whatever, I have a lot of stomach problems. I have bad acid reflux. My stomach literally will burn. Basically like IBS almost, right? IBS kind of symptoms. And... That's the stress and chronic inflammation in my body rising, right? So think about it. stress goes up, chronic inflammation in the body goes up, immune system levels drop, risk of cancer goes up. Does that make sense? You know, it's a kind of, it, it's a complicated topic because there is no one way someone can have cancer. There's, it's a, there's a lot of paths. That's why there's like not, you know, there's a lot of paths to it. But I just want to give people kind of a little bit of understanding of a really complex topic to simplify it. Okay. So ready, high stress in the body lowers our immune system, 
our immune system can't fight what's going on in the body because of all the stress it's dealing with foods smoking blah 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 relationships everything right boom body's naturally genes producing proteins these proteins get mutated and they're this, the body isn't functioning properly to handle that and then we get cancer um or you know anything else in between that's debilitating all right so that's just like a little bit of um a topic that i love and i just wanted to kind of let you guys know so we have a better understanding and we could start to finally heal all right see you next time bye